Hi, today we are going to discuss the new topic plane chromatography. Okay, so now we are discussing the chromatography in the chapter. We are discussing the plane chromatography in the discussion. Okay, before starting the topic, we go through the, the introduction of chromatography. Okay, chromatography is a very important analytical techniques used widely and frequently for the separation, purification and identification of chemical component in a complex mixture. Chromatography is a separation techniques used for separation, purification and identification of chemical component in a complex mixture. For a complex mixture of components such as A, B, C and different components in the components separate, identify, purify. These methods are used in this chromatography techniques. Okay, most chromatographic separations of mixture can be accomplished in few minutes with relatively simple and inexpensive equipment. Okay, the first chromatography separation accomplished by the Russian botanist Mikhail Tist in 1906. He was separated chlorophylls and other pigments in plant extract using adsorbent column packed with powdered calcium carbonate and petroleum ether. अब ये रशियन एक रशियन बोटनिस्ट आया था मिकाइल टिस्ट 1906 लम 1906 लम ये क्लोरोफिल मदर प्लांट बिगमेंट्स में यार एक्सट्रैक्ट किए थे ये वो ये प्लांट प्लांट एक्सट्रैक्ट में कैल्शियम कार्बनेट तो इधर उस कैल्शियम कार्बनेट एड्सोबेंट आईटी यूज़ इधर तो इधर उस सोबेंट आईटी यूज़ इधर तो ही he extracted or he separated chlorophyll and other plant pigment from plant extract. Okay, that is the first chromatographic techniques reported in the world. Okay, the name chromatography was therefore suggested by him to the technique which in Greek means colored writing. Okay, the, the, the meaning of chromatography in Greek is colored writings. Okay, then we are going to discuss the topic plain chromatography. Okay. And we will plain chromatography discuss the topic. Okay. Now, we will discuss plain chromatography. Okay. Planar chromatography or plain chromatography. Okay. Planar chromatography or plain chromatography is a chromatography on a plain surface, plain surface rather than on a column. Okay, so this planar chromatography or plain chromatography we are doing is plain surface. That is cellulose paper or plastic sheet or glass plate. Now, if you have glass plate or plastic sheet, that is surface and adsorbent. Adsorbent is the surface and the surface is the stationary phase side of the liquid. Now, if you have paper chromatography, you have to do the surface and the surface. Adsorbent is the water molecule in the stressory phase. Okay, planar chromatography methods include paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography. Paper chromatography is known as PC and thin layer chromatography is known as TLC. Okay, then first we are going to discuss the paper chromatography. Okay, so we are going to discuss the paper chromatography. Okay, principle of the paper chromatography. Paper chromatography or PC is a special field of liquid-liquid partition chromatography. So, the mechanism behind paper chromatography is partition. It is a type of liquid-liquid partition chromatography. Okay, in this technique, the stationary phase is a thin film of liquids. Okay, in this technique, the stationary phase is a thin film of liquids. Example, water adsorbed on a paper must usually made highly purified cellulose. Okay. Be paper chromatography in the cellulose paper and the surface the adsorbed in the water molecule and actually out of the stationary phase. It's a liquid liquid chromatography. That one is stationary phase in liquid aerium, mobile phase in liquid aerium. Okay. The mobile phase is another liquid percolating over it. Okay. The mobile phase is another liquid which move along the stationary phase during the separation. Okay. The successive equilibration, the successive equilibration of the components between the stationary phase and the mobile phase, while the latter move over the former, set up a different migration of the components. 
separation of the sample components is thereby accomplished. Okay, apa yang ini separation nak kata tu isu ni engkau, ini mobile phase lah itu separate je entah komponen ni dah. Ini mobile phase tu, ini komponen ni engkau dah, ini stationary phase tu surface tu dah move ina sami entah. Stationary phase lah itu la water molecule, entah ni stationary phase tu la liquid molecule, ini mobile phase tu la komponen ni dah mula interaction ber, ber retardation force ber. Apa interaction strong itu la pattern ni la partition nak, pattern ni partition nak. Apa ini interaction power ni la partition पातू किया है इतना लगता है आप आ रहे हो ये different migration of the component ये रहे हो migration के difference उन लोगों का separation आ रहा है okay actually the mechanism is rather complex than the described above and also partially involved adsorption on the paper mat okay then we are going to discuss the process of paper chromatography okay the apparatus required for paper chromatography consists of a support for the paper a solvent tray and air tight glass cylinder to develop the chromatogram okay the ear chromatograph in the middle of the paper strip put cellulose paper strip that uh, the cellulose paper strip is a support of the stationary phase but the cellulose paper the surface lay held in the water molecule i can then the stationary phase आज पेपर स्ट्रिप पे ना हमले एक टम बोर्ड अत लाइट ना हमले रु 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 बेस लाइन बारे में ओके सपोज एंड दिस इज़ ए पेपर स्ट्रिप एंड राइट ए बेस लाइन हियर आफ्टर द आफ्टर ड्राइंग द बेस लाइन्स वी स्पॉट द कॉम्बन टू बी सेपरेट सेपरेट सी एंड कॉम्बन रु कैपिलरी ड्यूबोर्ड ना हमले स्पॉटिं हमारा सोल्वेंट सब हम एक पर्टिकुलर सोल्वेंट डेट देने से शुरू तो जो स्टेशनरी मोबाइल पेस आइटम का स्टेशनरी पेस का सोल्वेंट इन्द्र ये जार लेके ये पेपर हांगी दो दें ये पेपर प्रत्येक अंदाज़ में चलेगा बट ऐसे सोल्वेंट 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 ये पेपर लो डिपेंड होता है ना बस ये बेस का इन्द्र तोटोड़ा non-polar solvent diet for example butanol water and uh, acetone mix and a different solvent diet p solvent move along the stationary phase with with the component e component in one move in move in some way the e component to e stationary phase the water molecule in the middle you will be partition a partition based diet you will have separation not okay this is the basic apparatus for the paper chromatography okay then the sample solution containing the different components to be separated is spotted near the lower edge of the paper strip and dried. Lower edge of the paper strip and dried. Okay, so we have to the paper strip in the lower edge of the baseline version session. Our sample components spot in the session dry. Okay, the paper is then suspended in the glass cylinder with its lower end just dipping the suitable solvent chosen. अदने सेशन की पेपर स्ट्रिप को उरी उरी जार डिप्पी माँ जार लंदन डायरी क्यों ये सोल्वेंट डायरी ये तो सोल्वेंट का मोबाइल फेस आई थोड़ा सोल्वेंट डायरी वाह सोल्वेंट डिप्पी ऐसे समय में ये बेस लाइन जस्ट एबो द लाइन ऑफ़ द सोल्वेंट सोल्वेंट लाइन सोल्वेंट लाइन का जस्ट मोल्ड आई क्यों ये बेस ल then the paper is then suspended in the glass cylinder with its lower end is just dipping in suitable solvent chosen as the mobile face okay taking care to see that the spotted position are above the solvent level the spotted position are above the solvent level okay the solvent ascend through the paper by capillary action carrying the various components the solvent move uh, ascend direction or solvent move the upward direction along with the component. The component is on the solvent moving. Okay. The component move different rate on account of different distribution between the uh, between the pair of invisible liquids. Abhi component in a moving is the component in stationary phase of the water molecule in the interaction with the partition in the partition in the strength and sensitivity within the moment to it. Okay. This mode of development of chromatographic zone is called ascending development. अब ये type development, chromatogram development चाहिए ना ना ascending development ना रहे। Okay, another mode can be descending development. वाला type लो उन्हें descending development। अब descending development का हमने अंदर चाहिए अभी चलेगा। ये top पे लो solvent डोकूँ, then ये paper उन्हें top पे लो bottom तले के hang ये डोकूँ, then इबड़े एक ही base दे। अब ये solvent को move इन्हें ना एक ही 
downward direction hai. it is only commonly going to move in the downward direction hai. this is descending chromatogram okay but descending develop descending chromatogram i can out of development here okay the solvent try is the top and the solvent descend through the paper a sequential combination of the two modes known as two dimensional development is also used appo ee ascending and descending one type one type aayi namukku nadathanengil athram chromatography ne namukku two dimensional chromatography nu parayam okay after some time the paper strip is removed okay after the solvent move up to a 90% percentage or 80% percentage of the paper paper le 80% percentage of ee solvent um component um kondu move cheythu kanya nammal endey ee paper strip porthadu okay after some time the paper strip is removed the solvent front is marked on it and is dried okay the colored component will appear a number of colored spot at the different distances ee component separate cheyana component the colored component aanengil ഈ ഒരു പേപ്പറിന്റെ സ്പോട്ട് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും ഡിഫറെന്റ് സ്പോട്ട് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും ദിസ് ഈസ് സോൾവെൻസ് ഫണ്ട് ഇതാണ് സോൾവെന്റ് മൂവ് ചെയ്ത് ഇത് ഓരോ കോമ്പനന്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും ഇനി കളർ ഇല്ലാത്ത കോമ്പനന്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ കളറിന് നമ്മൾ ഏജന്റ് സ്പ്രേ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുത്താൽ സി ദ ഡിഫറെന്റ് സ്പോട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സെപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് കോമ്പനന്റ് ഓക്കെ ദ പൊസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കളർലെസ് കോമ്പനന്റ് may be determined by spraying the paper with sensitive reagent capable of forming colored component with them okay then we after the component obtained we can calculate the rf value rf value calculate then what is rf value nokka namukku endana rf value at a given temperature and the given solvent it is possible to determine the characteristic rate of movement of each substance on chromatographic paper as the moving phase move this is represented by the relative front of retardation factor also called rf value okay what is rf value is a retardation factor retardation factor also called rf value rf value of different compounds are different even if the mobile phase is same okay rf value of different compounds are different even if the mobile phase or solvent is same furthermore rf value of compound may be different in different solvent okay rf value can be calculated using the following expression rf value namlu engane calculate cheyunu vecha using the following expression rf is equal to distance traveled by the sol uh, distance traveled by the substance from the reference lines or cm or distance traveled by the a uh, component from the base line the distance traveled by the component from the base line okay this is the distance traveled by the component a this is the distance traveled by the component b this is the distance traveled by the component c suppose okay then the ratio of ratio to distance traveled by the component from the reference lines or base lines to distance traveled by the solvent from the reference lines distance traveled by the this is the solvent from solvent from the uh, base line okay so the rf value is the distance traveled by the uh, component from the base line divided by distance traveled by the solvent from the base lines okay appo ee oru rf value kittu kanya ee rf value nammala standard rf value it compare cheyittu edana component nu namukku kandupidikkan pattu okay since solvent from move faster than the compounds then rf value of the substance will always less than 1 okay also note that rf value has no unit rf value nu pudhuve unit undava okay if the compound is colored then its position on the chromatographic paper may be easily located however if the substance is colorless it may be treated with a reagent which impart its characteristic color okay the reagent is given the name developer okay iodine is the most commonly used developer in paper chromatography several other techniques available for locating the the spots okay iodine iodine uh, solution is a uh, is a suitable development or uh, coloring reagent and also inhydrin reagent and another coloring reagent used for paper chromatography okay then next the application of paper chromatography paper chromatography find many application in organic in organic biochemical and industrial field some of these application are listed below
Then paper chromatography finds many applications in or inorganic, organic, biochemical and industrial fields. Paper chromatography is particularly suitable for the separation and identification of sample components present in trace quantities in microgram level. Example, it can be applied separation of mixture of dye, combo red, phenol red and bromophenol blue in solution by using butanol, ethanol, NH4 oil mixture as the developing solvent. Now you report organic dye, such so, as so dye, Congo red, phenol red, bromo phenol blue, and okay, separate EMA, microgram separate EMA, and it is paper chromatography. Okay. It's find application in the separation components which are closely related chemically. For example, a mixture of amino acids like arginine, glues, glutamic acid, leucine, valine can be separated by paper chromatography using butanol acetic acid water mixture as the development, developing solvent. Okay. Amino acid separation we need to use paper chromatography. For example, arginine, glutamic acid, leucine, valine, isoleucine, or different amino acid mixture. Or amino acid separate TM, we need to use paper chromatography. Now, we need to use development and solvent. We need to use butanol acetic acid water mixture. We need to use mobile phase and solvent. It is applied for the control of purity of food products and pharmaceuticals. Example, different food colors used in food samples can be separated and identified using paper chromatography using propen 2 volt as the element. Okay, about this food component there. This adulteration of the food components in the industry is used in the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, it can be applied for the separation and identification of metallic cation present in solution. Example, it can, it can be used for separation of the cation, ferric, Ni2+, copper 2+, and an aqueous mixture of the salt using acetone hydrochloric acid mixture as the element. So, acetone hydrochloric acid mixture solvent ID use it to make a mixture of cations. For example, iron, nickel, copper, and separate TMA and paper chromatography use it. Okay. The individual cation can then identify by spraying the paper with suitable spot test reagent or by comparison the RF value. In other words, spot color reagent use it in the same way, colored aki in the same way, RF value calculated. Okay. Some more application of paper chromatography are mentioned here. It is used in the laboratory and industry for quick check of purity of organic chemicals. Okay. It used to detect drugs and dopes in animals and humans. Okay. It is used in analysis of cosmetics and also resolution of isomeric metal complex can be achieved using paper chromatography. Okay. It is used in the determination of metal in all samples. That's the application of paper chromatography. Okay.